we are back out here at the car everybody today is just the day we're going to put some temporary temporary new tires on until we get our lift kit uh and we decide what wheel and tire combo we want with it we're thinking 14s when we do the lift uh we've seen some nice ones but we're not just not sure but for now since these tires that came on the car are a little dry rotted and worn on the edges so we probably ran it low with air we picked up went to the marketplace picked up some 10 inch black rims with some uh, good sneakers on it has good tread left so that's what we're going to put on it today uh you can go up to 10 inch on a stock height cart you might have some small issues if you're going in ditches and stuff and you're bouncing the front end too much on a turn you might get a little rub but most of the time they'll be fine uh so we're going to put those on today and while we're down there we're also going to check our rear end food and change that out now's a good time to do it when we did our spring in the rear we checked our uh hubs and everything and brakes they look good so now we're going to check that rear end on this cart which is an 07 club car it calls for 80 weight 90 gear oil that's what we picked up we picked some 80 weight 90 gear oil we're going to put that in there we just picked up what was available the lucas there we're going to put that in there get that fresh set or fresh fluids in there so with that being said let's get this thing jacked up and get these tires changed out all right like we did when we did the springs these are three quarter inch three quarter inch nuts we're just going to zip those off it's pretty easy we got all four of those off these are i mean these are so light <laughs> okay um when you jack this up there's a center spot right below the batteries it's part of the frame you'll see it where you got this part of the frame and this jack up there it'll lift up the whole side of the car so you can get the two tires on this side do the same thing on the other side it'll be a quick change you can see here these are these have the black rims as compared to our old ones which had the this cream colored rim which you see on a lot of them that's that matches the car it's ugly but the car also had or the tires also had them them hub covers on there which were black so they blacked it out anyway we're going to leave it with bare rim for now like i said we're probably going to be upgrading to the bigger aluminum rims in some point as you can see let's set them next to one another you can see the height difference on those <laughs> it's it's quite a bit so this will give you a little bit, little bit of lift also just going to the tens but it should fit with a stock cart that's what we're going to put in here I mean, it's big enough where I got to jack the jack up a little bit more. You want to jack that up, cameraman? All right, we, let me try that. Uh, a little bit more. All right. There it is. Yeah. Definitely looking bigger in there, but plenty of clearance. The offset's good. Like I said, if you guys are looking for something like this for a temporary like we did, the marketplace is an invaluable spot because they have they have almost especially down here in florida there's almost anything you want for a golf cart including a golf cart that's it on the rear one we're going to do the same on the front and go around and do the other side then we'll take a look at the stance on it. it's probably going to look a whole lot better so we're going to go on to the front All right, guys, we forgot to do the before and after measurement, but this side hasn't been done yet. So we're going to get that measurement from the ground, we'll say to the bottom here. Let's just say to here, see if you guys can see it. We're nine, about nine and three quarters from the ground. Well, I got had a hole, but about nine and three quarters, let's just say. Nine and three quarters from the ground up. Oh, do we have power weight on the jack? A little. 
still. About nine and a half, between nine and a half and nine and three quarters stock height. Uh, once we jack it up, we'll, we'll see what the height difference is. We should gain close to two inches, I'm thinking. Inch and a half, something like that. But if you guys get a close up of this tire here, you can see why we're changing them out. You can see all the checking in here, the dry rot. Plus on some of the other ones, the outside edge is just wearing right down. So it was time until we figure out what we're doing. So let's finish up this side and measure that height. All right, we're done with all four of these things. That goes pretty quick. We're gonna lower this down. Let's get a measurement. Now, remember it was nine and a half, between nine and a half and nine and three quarters. We are at about 10 and a little over 10 and three quarters. So what are we gain? About, about an inch, a little over an inch in height. And it, lo it looks, has a pretty good look to it if you stand back and look at it. I mean, those tires fill it out pretty good. I mean, they really fill the front. And we did a turn left to right to see if it was rubbing. It's not rubbing on anything, so that's good. I'm not, sh I don't know. I think we might have to look for some of them plastic hubcaps for now too, it's just so it looks a little better. That open rim like that, kind of weird. I thought I'd like it, but not so much. So we'll look for those. And, but uh, for now, that's, that's pretty nice. We got some new sneakers on there. So now let's get underneath the rear end of this thing. We're gonna change the rear end fluid. Hopefully it's not too, uh, hopefully it's not too milky or anything. We'll get under there, pull that bottom drain plug, empty that out, and then fill it up with some 80 weight 90, and we'll be all set and ready to go. So let's get to it. All right, y'all. Now we're under here trying to get to the drain plug on the rear end. You can see here's the drain at the low end, and here's the fill. So that is the same size as the lug nuts on your tires, three quarter inch. We're gonna pull this out and drain it. And then we will fill it up from here. Uh, you just want to fill it till it starts to come out. So you'll let it self level. Then you put your plug back in. You're good to go. So let's open this up. See what our fluid looks like. All right. We got this busted loose. So it come out by hand now. We're just going to pull this out. There is like a washer on there. Don't lose that. We're almost there. Pull it out. Oh, that oil looks pretty good. I mean, that looks really good. Can you give me a, a towel, sir? That, that smells like motor oil, not gear oil. Even though the book calls for gear oil on this, but that, that fluid looks really nice. All right, just set it down, please. So now we're going to pull this, this so it doesn't gurgle like that. We're going to pull this out. That way it'll flow smooth. All right, we got that pulled out to help it stop gurgling, which it did. It is pretty much done. We are going to put our drain plug back in. Like I said, make sure that washer is on there. Uh, you can see the magnet on the end. It's got a bunch of, like, it picks up a little bit of the stuff. We're going to wipe that off, and then we're going to put that back in there. We want that clean when we start. That magnet picks up all those little pieces you don't want working around there. So let's wipe that off. We'll get that put in there. All right, guys, you can see I got the drain plug back in. We wiped off the magnet. Uh, now we're gonna fill through here. The easiest way to do this is get one of those little transfer pumps that hook to your bottle. I thought I had one on my boat. I can't find it. So we're gonna use just the tip, try to get it up through the spring section here and hopefully get it into that hole. We just wanna keep putting it in until it's, like I said, where it starts coming out of that hole and it'll self level. So let me get the bottle set up. We'll get that squirted in there. All right, guys, as you can see, I have that kind of a weird angle since I don't have the pump, but it fits in there. I'm just squeezing it in until it goes in. It's not the greatest fit in there, but you just want to keep squirting until it starts coming out. You can see it wanting to there, but that's not. That's just because I'm not in there all the way. It'll start flowing out of there pretty good. And then you just let it self-level, plug that up. You're all set. You got that rear fluid change. So I'm going to continue on with that, put the plug in, and we'll be wrapping this job up. Okay, guys, you can see we have it full, and it is self-leveling there. It's draining out the excess that I put in there. So once that levels out, I'm just going to put the cap or the plug back in. So then we're wrapping this baby up. I just wanted to show you what it looked like when it's coming out. All right, guys, one last thing. We took this for a quick rip. It's nothing rubs. We're good. We did full rotation left and right. Right now we're checking all the pressures in these. It's supposed to be 35, it says on the tire. We're going to put 30s in it. We, we are tire. pretty low. So we're going to fill these all up and we're all set. All 
All right, there you go. A couple more projects successfully completed. Uh, we picked up those tires today. We got them on today. We changed that gear end, or the, yeah, gear end, the rear end lube. Uh, I noticed that it was oil, like a regular motor oil came out. But for the book, it does call for 8890 gear oil. So that's what I replaced it with. I'm sure either one will work. These aren't like super high speed machines. Um, but we got those. We can't wait to move on to the next stuff. Uh, we're not sure what it'll be. Uh, seat covers, the mat. I think the lift kit though is probably gonna be our last thing after we get everything done. Um, the body work, or not the body work, but the painting, seat covers, the mat, uh, the LED lights. Uh, the, we got a little digital gauge for the dash to tell us our battery levels. We got all those. We're gonna put those in and then Last thing will be that lift kit. This thing will be primed for what we wanted. So thanks you guys for watching. If you found this video helpful or anything, please click the like and subscribe button down below. Let us know you like our videos. Also, don't forget to hit that bell notification so you know the next time we post a video. You don't want to miss that. We got lots coming up on this car and lets our channels a little bit of everything. So you never know what you're going to find on here. So until that, until next time, guys, thanks for watching and try something new.